Okay, my name is Mrs. Blessing Biaye. Okay, I'm the CEO for Kati Montessori Schools, Benin. Wow, so far so good. I would say it's a very good um, business scheme because I never knew, before these brave women, I never knew there were things like this where they can just organize training for people that they want to even offer grants to train them on how to do better in their business. Because from all that we have learned so far, from the teachings and all that, I've also come to learn a broader way to manage business. It's not just about having a business. Are you managing that business well? Is your business rightly positioned to meet the target needs of the people you want to service? In this training, I've been able to learn more from that to know better how to position my business. There were some things I knew before, your bookkeeping, how to manage your business, but from this training, I've even learned a better way of doing them. We've also learned how do you market this your business? Is, is it just open a business and then you are running it? No, there are some nitty gritties we don't pay attention to. We're just all about, oh, I've opened the business. This is, they've been able to take us through the rudiments of how to even plan to start your business. Then if you're already in the business, how are you running it? How are you put, um, implementing the things that you have put in? These things I've been able to learn here and how to position your business to do better. Especially even for today, we have learned things like sales and marketing. How do you market your business? How, where do you want to be? Do you just run a business and you don't project? They've taught us that it's not, about, it's not until something happens before you plan. We've been taught about SBDs, which is sudden business disruption. Before now, everybody, we were just doing most of the business like that. We'll take example, the pandemic. Now we have been able to go through the lessons of do not wait for things to happen before you plan. From the onset, plan for the unforeseen. Plan, project the next two years, project where do you want to be? Not just in your mind. Put them down and walk towards them. Let there be a timeline. These are all the takeaways from here to be able to do better. And I, I thank God for brave women because with what brave women has really done now, it has also helped to bring out even um, a lot of women because most women are just um, enterprise owners. You don't just do anything concerning accounting book. You're just doing a business. But now they've, they've also supported women to know that ah, you can do your business like this. You can project, you can do well, you can put a proper template to monitor your business. You don't just do business for doing sake. But now they've, they've also supported women to know that ah, you can do your business like this. You can project, you can do well, you can put a proper template to monitor your business. You don't just do business for doing sake. I want to say a big thank you for, to Brave Women for organizing such a program, which is absolutely free. I, I, I have never attended a program that is free. I've always paid for programs to learn. And for what they have impacted on us, I want to say a big thank you to them because it has really done a lot to take women, especially, to the next level. Thank you.